Hi everyone and welcome to this series on Tesla Concept Vehicles, where I look into the potential total addressable market for some of the most interesting concept designs and whether it would actually be feasible for Tesla to enter these segments and take market share. Elon Musk and Tesla are known to make crazy fun equipment and vehicles, like the Boring Company's Flamethrower and the Tesla Cyberquad, so you never know if any of these concepts are completely out of the question. If you want to follow this series, hit the subscribe button down below to see all the weird and wonderful concepts coming up. In this video, we're looking into the potential Tesla tractor. The global tractor market registered sales of more than 1.73 million units in 2017, and the figure is forecast to reach 2.3 million tractor units by 2023. The rising global population, increasing consumer preference towards small tractors, and penetration of autonomous tractors are among the major factors expected to boost tractor sales globally. Tesla could step into the agriculture marketplace with its best-in-class battery technology and autonomous driving features, allowing farmers to kick back and let the Tesla tractor do all the work. The global all-wheel drive tractor market itself is projected to reach 315,000 units by 2021, growing at a compound annual growth rate of nearly 4%, according to Technavio's latest report. Europe and the Asia-Pacific region are expected to have the largest growth, with countries like India and China growing the fastest due to the increasing need to feed a fast-growing population. This growth is attributed to rising demand for food products and increasing mechanisation in the agricultural industry. Rapid urbanisation is promoting the migration to cities, resulting in farm labour shortage, and therefore increasing the demand for agricultural tractors. Data released by the UN in 2018 showed around 55% of the global population lived in urban areas, and this number is expected to reach 68% by 2050. Tractors are among the most important agricultural equipment sold globally. In 2019, they accounted for 32% of global spending on agricultural equipment. High diesel prices in India have already increased the operation cost to farmers, who have been battling with various other financial issues. This is also an important risk to the market. There are three companies that we'll cover in this video that are leading the way with electric powered tractors. The first is Kubota. Electrification and autonomous features are the way forward for the tractor industry, much like the auto industry. And in January 2020, Kubota introduced an unmanned X tractor, which is not only electric, but also smart enough to determine the best time for planting and collecting crops. The X cross represents an extremely interesting model for the future of farming. Autonomy offers faster, more efficient harvests and a significant reduction in labour cost. Electric power also removes a lot of the maintenance and diesel costs that make tractors so expensive to run. The second company is Solartrack, based in California, and has created a $45,000 US dollar zero emissions tractor, the e-utility. Solartrack, the first electric tractor producer in North America, according to the company, specialises in creating electrified tractors that perform as well as the diesel counterparts. Besides the e-utility, this includes other two offerings in Solartrack's environmentally friendly utility vehicle lineup, the compact electric tractor and the e-farmer electric tractor that will be available next year. In line with the company goal, the 40 horsepower e-utility tractor is powered by a rechargeable 28 kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery. According to its maker, this allows the two-wheel drive e-utility to outpace diesel tractors in power and torque at low speeds while matching performance at higher speeds. If you're enjoying this style of video, feel free to give it a like to let me know and subscribe for more. The third company is John Deere, who is reportedly working on their own autonomous electric tractor. They came out early with their 2017 reveal of the CSAM or Sustainable Energy Supply for Agricultural Machinery, and again late last year with a prototype of their own autonomous e-tractor but this time without batteries. The Gridcon uses a reeled cable to keep running from a grid connection power supply, which does seem a little bit odd. John Deere's new prototype electric tractor has been upgraded to cable connection for power, replacing the complete battery powered electric tractor built in 2016. It is the first vehicle to be fully electric from permanent cables and capable of fully autonomous operation in the field. Based on a John Deere 6210R tractor, Gridcon uses a cable connection from the paddock border to the machine, which transfers power continuously at more than 300 kilowatts. A 100 kilowatt electric motor powers the transmission 
and there is an additional outlet for implements powered by a 200 kilowatt electric motor. A drum fixed to the tractor carries up to 1000 meters of cable, although the length can be extended if required. The cable is fed out and reeled in while guided by a robot arm to keep the operation friction free and at low load. An intelligent guidance system is also used to prevent the tractor running into or over the cable. At work, the tractor follows pre-set rows fully autonomously at operating speeds of up to 20 km per hour. The vehicle can also be guided manually using remote control. Government initiatives across the globe are further incentivizing the adoption of machines for farming and other agricultural activities. For instance, the Indian government introduced the Macro Management Scheme of Agriculture that provides a 25% subsidy on tractors up to 35 horsepower. Similarly, the Canadian government has implemented the Canadian Agricultural Loans Act program that provides farmers with a loan of up to $500,000 US for purchasing land or tractors and repairing buildings. Such initiatives, along with increasing need for operational efficiencies and rise in labour cost, are expected to boost the demand for agricultural tractors. The market is also gaining momentum owing to the technological advancements that are revolutionising the farming and agricultural process. For instance, the implementation of agricultural tractors with self-driving capabilities is expected to increase productivity and efficiency in agriculture. Need for the replacement of existing machinery with advanced machines is expected to fuel market growth. However, high cost of agricultural tractors is one of the prominent factors restricting market growth, especially in developing economies. Taxes and import tariffs imposed by the governments of different countries are expected to hinder market growth. For example, in 2017, the Republic of Turkey announced a 21% import duty on agricultural machinery imported from non-European countries. Similarly, the Government of India imposes a 29.8% import duty on agricultural tractors. Shortage of skilled labour and increasing labour costs are expected to drive the market for agricultural tractors. Migration of people from rural areas to urban areas is one of the major reasons for this shortage. This growth has resulted in increased demand for food, which in turn has paved the way for the demand in tractors. Based on engine power, the agricultural tractor market has been categorised into three segments of power ratings. The less than 40 horsepower segment dominated the market in 2019, with more than 60% share in terms of volume. This is attributed to the benefits associated with these agricultural tractors, such as compact size, low cost, and ability to perform all the basic agricultural activities. Agricultural tractors with engine power ranging from 41 horsepower to 100 horsepower are expected to witness significant growth due to rising demand from matured markets such as North America and Europe. Adoption of agricultural technology in these regions is significantly higher as compared to those in developing markets such as India and China. Growing need to cater to the requirements of farmers in these regions is driving the demand for these tractors. More than 100 horsepower tractors held a share of more than 10% in terms of volume in 2019. This growth is attributed to growing demand for high power agricultural tractors in several European countries such as Germany, Turkey and France. In 2019, total US farm tractor sales grew 3.6% to 244,000 units. In February 2020, four-wheel drive and 100 plus horsepower tractors showed excellent sales gains. In May 2020, US total farm tractor sales rose 15% year over year. It essentially implies that as large home property owners and hobby farmers spend more time at home, they now want to upgrade and invest in their equipment. Row crop tractors and harvesters mostly used on commercial farming operations have shown a decline, which can be attributed to the reflection of uncertainty in the overall agricultural economy. The net farm income has been falling in the past six years, and almost halved to 63 billion US dollars in 2018 from 123 billion in 2013. India is the world's largest tractor market with over 700,000 units sold in 2019 to 2020. The tractor is also insulated from the ongoing boycott China sentiments as it has negligible dependence on China for components, with almost 95% of the components produced locally. After implementing emission regulations for the auto industry, the agricultural market is now gearing up to adopt a similar emissions regulations for tractors over 50 horsepower from October 2020. This would likely push buyers to consider electric tractors. On the manufacturer side, the migration to a new emissions scheme would require an upgrade to the fuel injection system 
exhaust after treatment, and ECU. China's farm mechanisation rate was estimated to be 69% in Q1 2020, which is still low compared to developed markets, and that is where a big opportunity lies. China officially pulled out of buying US agricultural products in 2019. This will have a direct bearing on American farmers, as China is one of their biggest customers. China bought approximately $6 billion US dollars worth of agricultural produce in 2018 before the tariffs came in. On the flip side, the domestic Chinese farmers and other countries will directly benefit from this move. China's agricultural machinery sector is big in terms of volume, but underdeveloped in terms of technology. Until recently, most Chinese manufacturers only manufacture low-end equipment, which find buyers in the domestic market and a few African markets. They are not well suited for exports to the US or Europe. Earlier, to plug this gap of high-end equipment, many Chinese farmers get used to agricultural equipment from the USA and Europe at lower prices. It's good to see electric tractors being developed, however, battery tech still needs to be improved significantly before many farmers consider making the switch. Reliability over long shifts is crucial for many farm success in a fast-paced harvest season. A lot of the benefits EVs bring to passenger vehicles are less relevant for agriculture, with noise, for example, not being a concern in deserted fields and environmental benefits are undervalued by many cash-strapped farmers. There are some advantages bringing electric tech to agricultural machinery. With high weight, which is seen as a liability for EV cars, is often necessary for tractor design. Many combustion machines have huge iron plates added specifically to bring up the weight and increase traction. Electric motors 100% off-the-line torque is also extremely useful for agricultural work. Even the most powerful diesel engines can't hope to match them on that front, and is particularly relevant for tractors which consistently work at low speed. So whilst there does seem to be quite a large tractor market for Tesla to enter, their focus is still better off currently producing their cars and growing their energy business, as there is still high demand for their products and they have always seemed constrained supplying their products to customers fast enough. So taking on a new product and potential factory to build it doesn't seem to be the logical move at present, but these concepts allow us to ponder the possibilities. Let me know in the comments what you think of a potential Tesla tractor and whether it could take meaningful market share in the global agricultural industry. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more stock market investing and interesting business news. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.